Guys, happy Sunday evening. It's about 6.50 p.m. here on the east, eastern coast here. Um, I want to talk to you about a uh, matchup that's coming on uh, on tomorrow night. It's going to be the Miami Heat versus the Milwaukee Bucks in game two of this series. Uh, Milwaukee narrowly won yesterday in overtime. Um, we actually predicted Milwaukee to win, but they did not cover uh, like, like we predicted. We were actually off to a Pretty good start uh, over the weekend uh, in the NBA playoffs. We're four and two so far, so we've done pretty good uh, overall. I'm pretty pleased with that. But um, the Milwaukee Bucks was one game we actually lost because uh, we had them at uh, minus five and a half. I'm gonna start by saying this: I I, I really am hoping for the Milwaukee Bucks uh, to go far this year. I actually hope they make the finals. I actually uh, am pulling for them to do that. Um, because I'm, I have been a Giannis fan uh, for a while, and I really like him. Uh, I like his demeanor, I like his attitude, and, and I like the way he carries himself for the most part. And uh, I like Milwaukee as a team. I'm really hoping that they can kind of get over the hump. They've been uh, mired, you know, down into, uh, you know, uh, falling short of expectations the past couple of years, uh, and all of that good stuff. Uh, I will, I will say this, and I'm gonna gonna say it and don't necessarily want to say it but it's the truth and uh here on this uh wonderful channel we have we tell the truth so uh Giannis is gonna have to be better than what he was in game one uh his performance um was inexcusable uh going 0 for 13 outside of the painted area uh shooting less than 50 percent on free throws I believe or close to around that range um, he's a liability. Uh, the, the Bucks sh should have won this game in game one by about 10 or 15 points uh, if Giannis just, you know, hits a few buckets. So um, he's got to be better than this. And, and I, I think it might be the nerves, I, you know, getting to him a little bit. He's had a lot of uh, playoff demons in the past and all of that good stuff. But I'm going to tell you, it's really, really disappointing to see him play the way that he did in game one. And you know what? His teammates did a great job. Uh, Brooke Lopez, Chris Middleton, uh, the crew, uh, Holiday, they had his back. And, um, you know, thank goodness for them playing the way that they played. Uh, the moment wasn't too big for them, but the moment was too big for Giannis. And I hope that Giannis takes that as a challenge, uh, not just for me because, you know, what, what I say doesn't mean a whole lot, but, um, you know, a, as a challenge to himself because I think uh, he knows that he choked and uh, he got let off the hook in game one. And I expect him to come out in game two and rectify that situation. Um, he needs to play better. He has to play better. Uh, you got to give uh, the Heat kudos because, um, you know, the book on Giannis has been keep him out of, out of the painted area and he'll, he'll miss and in the playoffs. And he has shown some improvement throughout the regular season that he can shoot the ball a little bit better. Uh, but uh, game one was a huge disappointment. So uh, I look for them to bounce back in this game. I want to stick with the Bucks in this one. Um, I got them. Uh, they're four-and-a-half-point favorites. I think they're going to cover that. I believe Giannis is going to come out uh, with something to prove, with a chip on his shoulder, and uh, I believe he'll feel that uh, he needs to make it up to his teammates because they bailed him out in game one. They're going to need him in game two. If he comes out and does that again, the Miami Heat will be – this series will be tied one-to-one -one going back to Miami. Miami, I can guarantee you that because I don't see uh, the Giannis' teammates being able to pick up the slack again like that. Uh, he got very fortunate with that performance in the Heat. Um, you know, they, they, they played Heat basketball. They're gutty. They're a tough-minded, you know, uh, gutty team. And uh, they take on the personality of their leader, Jimmy Butler, a uh, guy that just scratches and claws and plays hard. Isn't the most talented, but, boy, he sure does play really hard. And he's really smart. He's an excellent basketball player. And, uh, you know, uh, Milwaukee's the better team. They're the much better team. Uh, and I expect them to impose their will in game two and take care of business by double digits. So I got Milwaukee covering this thing in game two, uh, minus four and a half. Uh, like I said, it's down a point from the first game. The first game it was minus five and a half. So I think the Heat definitely got some respect from the – from the odds makers out there. So uh, I look for the Milwaukee to take care of business, though. Let me know in your, uh, in your in the comments what your thoughts are on this, what you thought about game one, what you think about the pick in game two, and uh, we'll look to get back, uh, back on track here 
uh, and uh, get this win in game two tomorrow night. So thanks, guys, as always, for watching. And uh, I'm going to drop a couple more videos before the night's over. So thanks. Talk to you soon.